All right, next to be removed is this piece that goes from here uh, all the way down here. Um, there was a little tank on top of it here that attaches with uh, three screws. Uh, these three, but I probably didn't need to remove it. I only removed it to see how to unmount uh, this thing. So definitely I'll take this bolt out and I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that now. Um, I'll also disconnect some of this wiring here. So we have a cable here and we have one here and I will uh, record some more stuff as I take it off. So this piece is called the EGR cooler. That bolts into the intakes here. And besides these uh, three bolts at top, um, there are Two more uh, bolts that go in here that need to be removed. Um, in order to get to that, I removed this uh, intake hose. This was easy. This pulls out quite easily. <clears throat> so I will loosen these bolts next. On the wiring, let's look at what's all attached. We have this plug, we have this plug, that's two, we have this plug, that's three, we have this plug, that's four, that I can see so far. If there are more, then I will note that later. So I'm gonna loosen these bolts and see if that's sufficient. This hose here, uh, these simply push in and are held back from coming loose with uh, this clip. This clip is quite easy to remove. After that, the hose just pulls off. So on this EGR cooler, uh, it's these bolts, uh, these bolts here that are kind of hard to get to, at least the bottom one. Uh, these top four bolts are easy to get off. So they are at the corners of this uh, plastic piece where the tube comes in. So one right here and the one underneath is hard to see and hard to get to, but uh, these two bolts along with those uh, top four will get it loose. So the, the bolts that just came out here, the slightly shorter one goes at the, the top there. And there is actually uh, one more bolt, it's that bracket that also needs to come out. So we have, uh, Four total up there, one here and two down there. So it's a seven. Uh, actually, there are four here. Uh, one there, so that's, yeah, so we have seven to remove this. Okay, the bolts for that uh, pipe, they're all the same size. There's three of them. Um, these clips, they come off if you push on this and pull. Some of them are a little stuck. Now, this cable here, that plugs in here, is actually held back by this bracket. That's uh, That little tank attaches here. So this actually needs to come off just to, because this clip just won't go through. 
So I have to temporarily remove this to remove that uh, cable. So on this, there's actually one more wire here, one more plug that needs to be taken out on the back. And uh, the only difficulty with this piece was the uh, this tube. I found it to be jammed in there very badly. It was difficult to get out, although this is supposed to come right out and I shouldn't have had to detach these three uh, bolts. Uh, this was very difficult to remove uh, from the engine. I ended up needing a, a crowbar to pry it out. So the EGR cooler, I've been calling it that because that's uh, what I heard it called in another video, this thing. Um, it's out now. We have significantly more more room in the front here now. Um, this is that pipe that was hard to get off. It doesn't look damaged. It's supposed to just pop right off and pop right back on. I don't know why it was so uh, stuck in there. But it's removed now. I'm going to put these uh, bolts back where they came from loosely so that it will be easier to reassemble later. So in reverse order, this one uh, came from bottom here. No, um, I'm gonna put these bolts back where they came from. So this uh, seventh one here, uh, it, it was that came from this piece. It actually bolts, bolts in here. So that's the one that goes here. <clears throat> then uh, this one, this uh, longest one here, it should go here. And this guy here. Maybe it'd be best actually to leave to leave these out because this might um, get bent or something while working on things. So instead I'll put them in here. <clears throat> this guy So it's possible that this was stuck because of uh, carbon buildup. We see on this side, there's quite a bit building up in this tube. This goes uh, back on here like this, so I'll put it back together after cleaning it off. And I took these, uh, these two bolts. I'll clean this and clean this thing off and put it back together. So we can see the buildup in here as well. 
going to uh, scrape this and clean this thing as much as possible. A lot of the oil from the oil leak is spilled onto this piece.